guys, so a lot of you ask me about my TV preferences, what I watch on TV, things like that. I'm pretty sure I've gone through like my what to watch on Netflix and things like that videos a ton so you would know what shows I've watched in the past. Things like Gilmore Girls, Vampire Diaries, all that kind of stuff. Like I could go on and on and on. And I've talked about those before but a lot of you ask me what I watch now. At the current moment it is about the 1st of February so some of these things won't be on anymore once you see this but you could still watch them on demand and things like that. But there's a lot of good TV on now. There's like five shows a night and it's getting a little overwhelming. I know I have such a hard life <laughs> but thank god for the DVR right? And so I just thought I'd go through I think I kind of went by day of the week so the first thing that comes on Sunday night is Shameless. It did end this past weekend. The season there will be a new season which I'm super excited about. I love Shameless. I've been watching it probably since season three and I obviously went back and watched the other two seasons. It's so good. If you've never seen Shameless it's funny but it's also not funny. It's one of those things that has a lot of comic relief in it but it also has a serious aspect, aspects and all the actors are so good. And then also Sundays is Shark Tank. I love Shark Tank. I only got into it like two or two seasons ago I think but it's really funny and enjoyable. I do kind of find it annoying that so many people make the same mistakes over and over. Like I've been watching this show for years. I'm like if you've been watching this show for years you know how they react to certain things. Like why are you behaving this way? Monday is like a big show night for me. <laughs> the Bachelor is probably the number one thing I get most excited to watch. I actually got my mom into it and she hates kind of that kind of thing. I really love The Bachelor. I know it's crazy and stupid but I think of it as more of like the producers have done this so well or I look at the editing. I know that those people don't actually behave like that in real life. It's all very much edited put together in a way that makes certain people look bad. Obviously there are some people who are like the villain who do say mean things like they can't put words in your mouth but they can organize it in a way that sounds a lot worse than it was. And I just think that the producers are geniuses because so many people do love it and enjoy it and I just think it's great and by the time you see this it might actually be over and then I'm also going to be watching The Bachelor Winter Games which haven't started yet but I'm very excited because that's something new. Another thing on Mondays is Supergirl. You guys know I talk about this a lot. I absolutely love Supergirl. I'm pretty sure I said it was my number one favorite show. I just really really love it. I think the acting is great. I think the plot is great. The story is great. It's very superhero like but it it's different and I don't know it's just really really good and I'm really really happy that I decided to start watching it. Another thing that comes on Monday is The Good Doctor on ABC that comes on after The Bachelor. I really like it. It's about a doctor with autism or surgeon with autism and like what he's, his struggles are but also how amazing he is and it's also about the other characters and everything and I'm really into hospital shows. I don't really know why but um, that's a really good one. I've heard like a lot of people like it so I hope it sticks around for a while. Another Monday Night Doctor show which I think is annoying that came out at the same time but it's really good in a different way is The Resident. It's with Logan from Gilmore Girls which is kind of the reason I first wanted to watch it. It also has, I can't remember her name, she was in Brothers and Sisters, she was the main character in Revenge and I just find it a really interesting show. The Resident is more about like hospital administration and things like that like it feels a little bit more real. Like The Good Doctor is a bit more like a TV doctor but like The Resident feels a little bit more real in a way. Another one I think is gonna be on Monday didn't start yet but I'm definitely gonna watch it is Unreal and Lifetime. It's the one that's like the scripted version of The Bachelor like behind the scenes and this is their first season with a bachelorette and I'm really excited. I love that show. If you haven't watched Unreal watch it. If you like The Bachelor or Bachelorette watch the show. Monday night also The Alienist. That's on TNT. That's a new show with Dakota Fanning. If you haven't seen the commercials you're really not watching a lot of TV because they are everywhere. It's kind of about what it is about a serial killer who kills young boys and it's kind of disturbing if you don't like dark dramas that are very intense you won't like it. I find it super interesting and I'm really enjoying it. Tuesday night okay This Is Us of course This Is Us is amazing. This coming weekend is the week of the Super Bowl for me so um really excited to find out what happens in the Super Bowl episode. I don't know, it's just really cool and interesting and it's like not like a, sh like a show that I've seen before. So I really, really, really love This Is Us like most people probably do. Tuesday is The Middle. I think The Middle comes on Tuesday on ABC. Sitcom, I'm a very big sitcom person. I just love that they don't take much of my brain power. I watch so many, so many shows that you really have to pay attention to that I love watching sitcoms because you kind of don't. In The Middle, I really like it. It's the last like finale season, which I'm sad about, but at the same time it has been on for a really long time. I think Alone Together, it's on Freeform. I think it's really funny. It's that sitcom with like a guy and a girl who are friends and they're just like platonic friends and it's like very a millennial kind of show. It's very like what you would expect from a new millennial sitcom but I really like it. I think the actors are hilarious. A Wednesday show is Waco that's on the Paramount Network which used to be like 
a different channel but it's now called Paramount Net Network and Waco is obviously based on what happened in Waco Texas in the 90s I think it was the 90s but I originally wanted to watch it because Melissa Benoist from Supergirl is in it and I wanted to support her and I think she's a great actress and I want to see her kind of in a different role than Supergirl and I'm really glad I started watching it. I love things that are based on books or based on reality. I love like going and looking up the real story and like comparing and stuff. This is obviously like, a huge tragedy and I have my opinions about it, but it's like a six part series. So it might be over by the time you see this, but if you can get it on like cable or on fine online, definitely watch it. Cause I think it's really powerful. I think the acting is so good. I really recommend you watch it. Um, another Wednesday night show is the assassination of Gianni Versace. I'm really enjoying that. I really liked the one about OJ, this one, and I didn't know much about this at all, like, at, at all. So it's a bit newer to me, but I find it really, really interesting. I really think the actors did a really good job. I know I did read a lot of stuff that's saying it's not based on, like, the truth. It's all, like, hearsay and things like that. So I'm kind of just taking everything in that with a grain of salt in comparison to, like, reality, but it is enjoyable. Like, it's very entertaining. Another Wednesday show is Riverdale, and, um, honestly, I- ugh, Riverdale is bringing me back to, like, the days of Pretty Little Liars. I watched the first few seasons of that and then stopped, and I never do that because it was getting too repetitive, almost. Like, I feel like Riverdale, the season one was amazing. Like, season one I could not get enough of, but season two, the plot is not getting to me as much as it was in season one. There are scenes in season two I'm really enjoying. The actors are really like pulling out all the stops and doing really well, I think. Of course, I'm all about bugheads, so that's kind of what's keeping me in there. I don't know, like, season one was better, so I do hope they amp up the rest of season two. I'm Speechless and American Housewife, I think, are both Wednesdays. American Housewife, I really like. It's not my favorite show ever, but it's another like, kind of sitcom to have in the background, but I do think it's a bit more unique than like Modern Family or something. Like I just think it stands out a little bit more. And then also Speechless. I really like Speechless because it is so different from a lot of sitcoms, but at the same time, as I've been watching this lot, this past season not like hitting me as much as season one so i'm not sure how that's gonna go supernatural that's thursdays supernatural classic if you don't watch supernatural you have a lot to catch up on i think they're on season 13. i think it's so good i don't know how a show can go on that long and come up with so many new ideas it's amazing how i've never watched that show and felt this is so repetitive there's just so much intrigue in that show and because it's been on so long you're so invested in the characters at this point and they have this great way of just like being funny but not funny and you can tell that the actors on that show like love each other in real life and it's just really awesome will and grace another thursday show holy smokes i love it honestly when will and grace was new like well it's new now but like when will and grace like the old will and grace i didn't i don't want to say i didn't like it like i liked the old episodes of will and grace but the new ones are better. I've never felt really that way before. Like the new version or reboot or something was better and I'm not expecting it for a lot of things but I think it's better. Like I honestly think the jokes are so perfect and it might be because like, I was an adult when it first aired and like now I am so I kind of relate better but geez those actors like Will and Grace I don't know why they haven't won whatever with the Emmys or something Golden Globes they deserve it. They're so good. Honestly the guy who plays Jack I'm obsessed with him. Three shows I haven't started when I'm filming this, but I will be watching once you see this, um, is Roseanne, the reboot. I'm very, very excited about it because obviously it's not like a, a fake version, like a remake, like what they're trying to do with Charmed, which pisses me off to no end, but it's like this all the same actors, you know what I mean? So I do feel like I'm really gonna enjoy it. I love Roseanne. I do feel like it's gonna be similar to Will and Grace in a way that I might actually think the new one is better. Not better, but like I, I will relate to it a bit more maybe. I'm really excited to see what they do with that. Also New Girl, the final season, which is a very short season, will be starting soon, which I'm sad about because I love New Girl, but I do feel like it is time to kind of move on. They said that this final season is like a love letter to the fans, which I'm really excited about. And then finally is the original's final season, which I'm so pumped for because I really loved the last season and how they ended it and I'm really excited to kind of see what they do with the end of it and how they end everything and like the couples that come together or split apart and I'm like so pumped for it. That is the last one. So this was a super long video of me talking about TV. So either you hated it and you're already gone or you're still watching it. If you made it to the end, I'm thankful and thank you and um, but I said that twice. Let me know in a comment what you're watching, if you're watching any of these shows, if you love any of them. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it, I'd really appreciate that. And subscribe to see more from me. And I think that's it. I'll see you next time. <laughs>